Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm back with another anime movie reaction and today we're going to react to Tokyo Godfathers. Alright, so um, I again this is another movie which I have been recommended to and I also checked it out and uh, the summary and it seemed like a pretty nice story and it's a 1 hour 30 mo uh, minutes movie and I think uh, the director of this Satoshi Kon is the same person who uh, did perfect blue and um, I loved perfect blue so I'm really looking forward to this movie as well and uh, yeah like let's get started I have no idea so I don't know what like you know intro to do about this movie because I'm like you know as, as I said I had no idea about this movie someone recommended to this to me and then I kind of went and checked out the summary so that's all I have about this movie I don't know how it is you know it, it's quite an old movie as well so let's see uh, let's see what this movie is about so without further ado let's get started with Tokyo Godfathers so yeah I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Okay. Oh, this is a, the theater. Yeah, I think drama they're doing. This is a Christmas. Uh, I'm not so proficient with that. So this is this is a, that. You know the Christmas legend, isn't it? Like the three old wise old men. What is that? Oh. Nativity play sermon dinner. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, his name is Kin. <laughs> Give me a little extra. <laughs> wow. Um, you you you're spilling it. <laughs> Whoa, this is a nice vibe. What the? Whoa, who's spitting? <laughs> <laughs> oh they they know each other okay <laughs> just gobble you okay Who's that? Oh. <laughs> wow, these people. Ha <laughs> 
the get of the oh my god. Yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing they did have no place to go. They're gone. <laughs> okay, her name is Hana. Okay. Ah! Oh, is that it? Oh no. Oh my god! <laughs> Not my father! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Okay, calm down. Uh... Oh! <laughs> okay. Who even like leaves a baby in a tr trash heap? Like what the hell? Yeah, but who even, like, it's a trash heap, like, who even does that? What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> John Doe. <laughs> Yeah, this child is like abandoned from the beginning now. Like, what? That's even worse than. Oh, there's a key. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, now Tokyo Godfather's committee production. Masang. Ah, there you go. So, original story by Satoshi Kon. Kenichi Konishi. Mm. Oh no! Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, but. Okay, go. Whoa! What the hell? Kyoko, that's. Oh, Kyo means pure. Okay. And Ko means little girl. Yeah, like, how would they even? And it's snowing. Damn, it's cold. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Seems like a lighthearted, you know, movie, I think. But uh, like it's involving a child, so I'm guessing it probably won't be lighthearted later on.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, don't do that again. Does he have... I think... I think he has... <laughs> I think he has some experience, like, you know, with children. Okay, calm down. Oh my god. Oh no, she's crying. Um, both of them are crying now. Okay. Okay, all right, I guess. I guess one day is... Okay, so that was a problem. Diaper. Yeah, he must have some kind of experience. I hope so. This is a one hour 30 minutes movie, so I doubt they're going to take them in the next day. Oh. <laughs> oh god. How did she get the money to buy water? I'm guessing she had- oh no. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. I I thought. Oh, it's also good. <laughs> she started reading it. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Someone wants to light in the car door. Oh, it's big. Hmm. Oh no. What about his wife? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, the wife also died. Oh god. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah. 
What? Who's? Oh, what's happening? What? Wait, she went where? Yeah. Also, I'm guessing, like you know, like she feared that they're going to take her to the police station. Something like that. That's why I ran away with the girl. Oh my god. Or maybe they're somewhere else. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there, there they are. Okay, I thought they ran away, you know. Yeah, like who even like leaves? I don't know. Maybe circumstances. Yeah, like. Talking from experience. I don't know, like, uh, yeah, wait, what, what kind of circumstances even? Okay. Yeah. Oh, there was this, yeah, the thing, the key. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, maybe some kind of like, you know, foods and stuff. Maybe some necessities. There you go. What are these? Wait, there's... What the? They look kind of rich. Damn, what are these? Wait. Hostess club, okay. <laughs> what? Who's that lady? Damn, this is like all crowded. How the baby is okay, like. Yeah. Oh no, the train. Train stopped. Did something happen? Too much snow, I guess. Yeah, oh god. It did, did she, did she just... Oh no.
What? Who? She knows him? Oh, no, she must know him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, he must know her. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's sing a song. <laughs> she start crying more. Um, it's crying. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> a song ended. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, enough drama. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, they're trying to find food. Okay, well... Oh my god. That's true, you know, like his Yeah, how can they like, oh god. But what can they even do in this situation? Like, they can go to the police station, I guess, but... <laughs> okay, she, he's pretty drunk. Someone stop him. Oh god. Oh! Wait, what? What the hell? Wait, who? Who keeps diapers? That's diapers, isn't it? <laughs> They've got tossing a coin. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh, wait, you got stuck. Um, are you okay there? Oh, no.
Because of the slope, I got. I guess he got stuck. Yeah, and he got inside. <laughs> Dorothy, wait. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, his hand, his, there's no. Wait, does he know her? I think he knows him. Me too. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, come on. Look in front. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa, he is a big. <laughs> Damn. Is someone really? Oh, that's her? I almost got killed! <laughs> he does not have a little, little finger. Little finger. Is he like part of the Yakuza or something? Because I, I, I'm, I, think, I think I'm thinking too much about it. Because you know like there's this whole thing about Yakuza cutting their little finger because of honor or something like you know, someone did something bad. There's this punishment you have to lop off your little finger. That's why. I don't think like anyways. Whoa. What? Wait. Oh. Yeah, it's the guy. Oh my god. Okay, I can understand what actually happened. Shut up. Oh no. Yeah, calm down. Wait, he... Wait, he knows him? Oh my god! Wait, wait. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, what? What's happening? What the hell? Wait, did he cover for him? Um, no. Oh! <laughs> okay, a lot of things are happening at the same time. Wait, that's a guy? Uh, 
um okay she cannot understand him i even cannot understand him <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> oh my god okay the the cry of the baby is kind of helping them to actually oh god yeah you cannot catch a damn okay Ugh. oh he she took note of the number good oh god <coughs> Action movie heroes. <laughs> Wait, so his wife and daughter is alive or dead? Like, they're talking about some. Okay, you're going to, yeah, you're going too much. Oh, king of trash. <laughs> um, who the hell is this guy? Oh, he wants to go. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Who's that? Oh, okay. It's an old man. Oh god, it's another mess that they're... Okay, well... Three of them are three different places, like a... And this place is not looking good. Oh! You need a translator, like, nobody can understand what's happening, actually. Whoa, this is some... <laughs> Halfway there.
<laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> He's like, okay, that's not. What? Oh no, he died. What the? Whoa, is it like? What the hell? Um. <laughs> started moving again. <laughs> so mad. <laughs> okay, I think he's. Yeah, I think that's the end. Oh! Um... Oh no. Oh no. Wait, what? <laughs> um I think so Okay Ah uh -huh. Father. Yeah, father. Police. What the? Who was that old man? He he gave something to him. And like now there's these clowns here who are oh oh god what the What? They just came here to just... What the hell is wrong with these people? They just came here for fun? Oh, there you go. There may be a war between crime syndicates. Damn. Yeah, this is serious. Mother? Angel. Father? Yeah. Oh my god. Hmm, baby's also crying.
Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god, what is that? Look. Oh, oh, is this the, yeah. Oh no. Is this a dream? Yeah. It is a dream. What? Oh my god. Yeah, it's a dream. Well, obviously, it's supposed to. Okay, they're here. Anna is here. <laughs> Screaming outside. <laughs> oh my god she's like yeah he's really oh my god <laughs> the driver is Oh no the the, the, the guy <laughs> the driver <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Nice Oh my god <laughs> Oh, the, the ambulance. Was that the ambulance? Oh, God. <laughs> and that's the old man, the other old man. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> He's like, she's like, what the hell? Who is this? <laughs> Jin Chan didn't have these. Oh, my God. Damn, he got really beaten up bad. I don't think he's going to die, but obviously he's very hurt. What the? Um, what? What's happening? Is he hallucinating or something? <laughs> Magic on ambulance? <laughs> what the? What's that? <laughs> My magic on ambience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Angel Tower. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a mom. Okay. <laughs> uh, what? Oh. There he is. <laughs> oh, so that was the angel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not an angel. <laughs> well, obviously. It's just an old man. <laughs> Ken died. <laughs> what? Oh my god, slipped on a slope soap. Okay. Oh. I think she was like, you know, hesitating or something. <clears throat> also, that's her in, in the picture. I didn't recognize her probably. Love is left. Whoa! <laughs> he is like a like you know background noise sound. Like you know in those songs where there's this background thing that usually happens. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, so that was yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, one thing I realized, this is not her real mother, like, you know, she, she's the mother of the establishment or something, I think so. You know, like, they call themselves, like, uh, the mother or... I think so, okay, anyways. No, not you. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's not her mom. Okay, like that's just mom of the establishment. What? <laughs> oh. What? Oh yeah, definitely he found. Oh my god, another haiku. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn. They're living in this, oh yeah. Okay, finally. Almost there. But how are you even going to, like, you know, I'm sure they can find out, but I think probably something not good is going to await them. Like usually in these type of situations. <laughs> so many cats. <laughs> the cats are nice having like a, you know, warm place. No! No, no more sake. Okay, just one. <laughs> kind of like, you know, drinks and kind of goes <laughs> overboard every time. Oh, wait, is this? Yeah, it's, it's a place. Wait. Wait, it's abandoned or something? Oh no no the Oh no yeah it's abandoned broken no one lives here anymore <laughs> So that's why the key was like just like that you know Oh boy Ah oh, now what like you can kind of ask people you know who lived here where are they now all that stuff <laughs> Nishizawa Sachiko. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> no more drinking. Oh my god. Kurumizawa san. Oh god. Oh! <laughs> Damn, all the people are... <laughs> wow, they're like gossiping now. <laughs> they're on their own. So imagine happiness. Wow, they're like going from one place to another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
<laughs> not talking about you. Uh, <laughs> New key angel has come. Oh. oh no, what's <laughs> we're <We're> servants. <laughs> I think something similar happened to yeah. And she's also getting bothered because you know she stabbed her father all that stuff and Oh god mm. So he, she's alive, like... Oh, okay. Hmm... <laughs> Just like... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh. No one's picking up. Okay, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, his, her father is a police officer. He can probably track this place, you know, trace this place, the phone number, and come here. Oh God. Ah. Uh... Ah, oh, great. Wow. Oh! Um, they just saved your life. Oh. Oh no, what the? What happened to her? She just got kind of coughing, you know, like before, so I'm guessing. Oh, that guy.
<laughs> Not that long ago. Hmm. Very weak. Yeah. Yeah, what can he even do, you know? He's just a doctor. Whoa! Quite a lot of money. Uh, the, 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 the money that he saved, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wait, is that the daughter? Oh, maybe. Yeah. So that's why he, oh my God, when he, they named her Kyoko. You know, that's why he kind of was acting so weird. <laughs> Recycling. Ah. Oh, a mom also assist? Door. Bicycle shop. <laughs> Oh, that guy. Oh, yeah, that was the guy. Like, yeah, he's kind of said that before. Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> what was <laughs> That's what <laughs> I saw it on the track. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Oh my god, this guy, he really was... <laughs> oh my... <laughs> oh god... <sighs> <laughs> Get his bed. <laughs> well, mm, yeah. Mm. Ah, that is fine. Weeping red. Oh, the red. Okay, the account is the Aoni. Yeah. This is a very, like, you know, known story. Like, in, most of the animals we hear, hear this. <laughs> the red. <laughs> yeah. Then later the blue, uh, the uh, the Aoni goes away, and says that if you hang around with me, the people will again. You always have to sacrifice something. Hmm. I hope so. Mm. <clears throat> Real line of ones. Wait. <coughs> Wait, did he really? Okay. Oh my god. So the, she's not abandoned? <laughs> oh god oh my god <laughs> no you're holding the baby so who the? Oh, whoa! Um, there, there's someone. God. Wait, is that really the mom? Oh my God! Yo, she really was trying to commit suicide. What the hell? What? But the, the set... Oh... Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, like Hana's words kind of came true. Like she really was trying to commit suicide.
Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, well, what the? <clears throat> um, what are you doing? Whoa, this place is untidy, like a lot of things here and there. Oh! <laughs> it's that guy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's that guy. The husband. He's the main, like, yeah, culprit here. What? Wait, what? Wait, what's happening here? He said like that was not his daughter? <laughs> Even all of them. Um. What is this? Okay, this ladies. Oh. What? So why was he? She. This guy is pretty, like, uh, you know, irresponsible as well, but... Yeah, like this? Uh, okay, this guy is too far gone. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Then why did the wife, uh, the lady take the... Oh! <laughs> okay, there they are. Oh! Uh, 
<coughs> There's a lot of children crying. Okay. <laughs> <That is. laughs> Damn, you need some exercise. <laughs> Talk. The mom. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm still a little bit confused, but... Oh! <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, there you go. <laughs> so she's technically wrong, you know. I'm guessing this this lady also has some kind of mental dilemmas. Like she was actually trying to commit suicide. Oh, yo. Oh, my God. The police might. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, it's. Uh. Take the bicycle. Take the bicycle. I'm sure. Yeah, there you go. He, he ran, ran a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Ah! Oh no, that guy. <laughs> oh god. Okay, nice. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, come on, get in. Who's <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, there you go, he got a boost. Oh! I think he kind of... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um... Oh god! Oh no. Okay. Okay, the baby is fine. What happened to the lady? There she is.
Oh god, again. Uh. <laughs> oh god. Oh no! And uh, now you have to you have to go up the stairs now. Ah. Uh. She's pretty slim now. She used to be kind of chubby before. I'm guessing like, you know, kind of in this, like living in like this without food, kind of kind of made her slim. Oh God. Whoa. I, I'm sure something is wrong with this lady, you know, like some kind of mental, like this, like, you know, problem or something. Oh my god, what the hell? It's a helicopter. Oh no! Oh. Yeah! What? Oh, maybe the guy lied. I, I, I don't know, I'm, this is confusing now. Oh, maybe not. Maybe she really is. Yeah, yeah, she, she's really a... Uh, she's not the wife. Oh. Yeah, oh god. Oh. oh god, yeah. She's mentally unstable. Don't slip and fall. Oh god. Oh. Wait, that what's happening here? Oh. Like she's calling her Sachuk and she's saying that uh, Oh God. Okay Okay Oh, so the guy knows? Ugh. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh! Um... Whoa, that was a huge gust of wind. <laughs> yeah, as this said, you know, like this uh, baby is protected by the gods. So 
ya. Okay, I can kind of understand what happened. I was a bit confused. I'm going to talk about this later on. So those two were not the actual mom and dad. Okay, okay. Like I was thinking, why was he? <sighs> I'm a hero. Yeah, what's her name? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's why Tokyo. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> Coincidence. <laughs> well, now we know what's her name. It's Kyoko. It's going to be Kyoko. say one thing this is you know th this movie had a weird vibe going on weird vibe oh my god what's happening to the building <laughs> a weird vibe i'm calling it weird because it tackled a lot of what can i say serious moments in a very lighthearted fashion <laughs> you know like you remember the, the scene when they were talking about how like you know uh, the uh, the husband died of Hana. Like, you know, like <laughs> she said that, oh, he slipped on a soap and fell. And the mother was like, oh my God. Like these type of things, like, they're talking about like very, like, you know, like life and death, but it was done in such a playful and lighthearted manner. <laughs> like that's, that's the vibe I'm talking about, you know? And now, okay, one thing I was a little bit confused in the end, but I think, I can understand it now like <clears throat> the two the two guys uh, no, 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 sorry the, not the two guys the actual father and the mother of Kyoko I thought the father was that guy who was like you know uh, like doing the lottery thing and kind of like you know uh, in front of the TV and like sh like a shut-in he was acting like a shut-in I thought that was the dad and I thought the lady who was actually going to jump off was the person who took the child from the dad and the mom. Now, in the end, I think I was a bit mistaken. That was not the dad and neither was that lady the mom. Not, you know, the lady was the person who took the child and the guy who was like a shut-in, you know, who was like fiddling with his lottery tickets, he was involved with the lady. You know, and the lady took a different child, like, you know, a child from one of the couples in the hospital. Like, that guy was in no way involved with the child. Like, like I, I think I made the mistake be, uh, in previously. I thought that the, the guy was actually the dad of the child. That's why I was really confused. I was thinking, like, what's actually happening? He's saying that, uh, like, you know, she, the, the, the lady took the child from the hospital, you know, took away the child, and then... Like she was calling her by name. I was thinking, so this guy knows the lady. So why did he say that an unknown la lady took the child from the hospital? Like I was really confused. So correct me if I'm wrong. There was this hospital, uh, actual mom, the actual dad, Kyoko. There was this another guy and there was this lady who was actually involved with the guy. And <clears throat> like, both of them were someone, someone else. Uh, the actual mom and the actual dad of the of Kyoko was someone completely different. 
this lady she she takes kyoko and runs away and the original mom and dad like you know are trying to find kyoko but are not finding her and then like you know like uh, kyoko is in the 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 trash place and she, she's unable to find uh, kyoko like all that stuff then happens and she says that my husband took this my child away and like i cannot find her so i'm going to commit suicide and then hana and all of them actually meet with her and actually mistakes her to be the real mom which i also mistook her to be but then we see uh, like you know uh, the guy who is you know the lottery ticket guy then we see him and like that kind of made me very confused i was thinking like what's even happening here but i think that's actually what happened like they were two different parties like you know the, the lottery ticket guy and the lady who was trying to jump those two were some other people and the actual mom and dad were someone else so like you know the, in the end we see the actual mom and dad who, who come to the hospital and ask them to become the godfathers so i think it's something like that i might be wrong like please correct me down if i'm wrong because in the end i i got a little bit confused as to who was to who i was being very confused but i think i think it is something like that so yeah okay is that the end yeah that's the end all right so that was tokyo godfathers now <laughs> um as i said it's it's very unique in its approach and you know like the whole what can i say like making you confused thing like this is uh, the origin the story is written by satoshi kon and i checked out one of his other works which is perfect blue and like you know i can kind of feel the like, similarity between those two obviously this is like a slice of life like a show you know like this no like psychological thing is happening here but still like bits and pieces of that style kind of is also we can kind of recognize that style in here as well as we like you know in the end we see suddenly the baby is saying that you know let me go home or something like that you know <laughs> like that thing like those were like little bits and pieces of uh, like actual uh, you know like like the, the vibe i was getting was really something from um, perfect blue which kind of shows that the same person wrote this like i could uh, excuse me i could understand that and i think that's why also it got a little bit complicated in the end you know like as to who was to who and i think i was able to properly understand what happened as i said i kind of explained it like there were actually two parties like one party was the actual father and the mother you know and kyoko and the other party was this lady i, I can't remember her name who was trying to jump and the lottery ticket guy so both of them and uh, so yeah okay let me just go and check one thing um like i'm going to like go and check if i am correct you know just a sec if i was able to properly understand um uh pair specs uh okay the 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 lady's name was sachiko okay i remembered it now um okay uh okay here it is she claims to be the first to be the mother of kyoko but it's later discovered that she actually stole the infant from the hospital there you go basically of out of one for a child when she is discovered she tries running away with kyoko only to be uh, on left with a dead end and uh, jump she tries jumping off the tower with kyoko to be reborn and start a new life over all over again or to be stopped by and saved by miyuki and realizes what she has done to kyoko cries feels ashamed returns her to the trio for her to be brought back to the parents it's assumed uh, reunited with her husband who she had a very difficult relationship at first there you go all right okay so yeah i can understand this now like i was really confused so this sachiko person like i was you know in the beginning i was thinking like that was the actual mom obviously all of us thought that and then when suddenly the guy says 
that uh, it was not the mom it's you know like the sachiko is someone who actually stole the child and uh like i was like you know i was then thinking like so what the hell is happening here like this guy knows sachiko and he says that sachiko stole the uh, child like you know at that moment i thought the guy was actually the father of the child and that's why i was confused and then i thought that like so why is he saying that uh, sachiko stole it like you know because he's the dad and sachiko is supposed to be his you know like related to him his wife or something like that and then like all these things happen and then in the end i actually realized that there were actually two different person two different parties the actual mom and dad we never saw them all like you know we just saw them at the end like the actual mom and dad so that that was a little bit confusing but now i can like you know I, I, it's all cleared out i can understand it now so yeah all right so this show as i was saying uh, this show kind of tackles most of the like you know hard hitting stuff in a very casual and playful manner you know even death and all of that is done in a very casual manner which i find it very unique i've never seen like you know like you know like uh, like a show which kind of like you know handles death and like like what do you call it like very difficult topics with such like you know um, what can i say like in, in such a unique way like this um and <laughs> you know like uh, it's like i was watching a comedy uh, you know a comedy movie and then like you know like even though all these kind of like heavy hitting hard hitting subjects were being discussed um so everyone all of them had their own circumstances uh, the guy is a like you know i always forget the guy's name what was the guy's name the the, the person uh, gin gin yeah gin that was his name uh, gin uh, hana and uh, um, miyuki so all of them had their own uh, circumstances and obviously gin we know like get to know his actual story and <laughs> you know what really like like what was really funny <laughs> like actually realizing that gin kind of lied in the beginning you know like when he said that oh my like you know my uh, my daughter died and then the wife my wife kind of uh, like you know followed her and she also died and crying and all and hana was like oh my god so sad you know and then when a hana actually realizes that that's all crap he was talking about before and both of them are all well and good and he was just doing that for i don't know like for because probably he felt ashamed to actually admit that he was at fault something like that you know <laughs> like that was the funniest part and she, like you know hana actually says everything blurts everything out in front of the daughter <coughs> oh god like that was <laughs> and she says something like you know like um which is quite true she said that if the daughter kind of accepts him, him even after all that all all those things that's a real family and then she kind of like you know narrates the old akaoni awoni story the red uh, ogre and the uh, blue ogre and this is a story which like you know like you know a lot of animals we've seen like the, the story where the um, red oni like you know like the blue oni helps the red oni but in the end the red oni um, lo loses the friendship of the blue oni because the blue oni says that everyone will you know like not uh, associate with you if they find me associating with you so i should go away all that stuff and like how she says that it's actually their story like her and like what she actually tried to do and all those stuff and uh, <clears throat> yeah and and also like a lot of things obviously happened in this uh you know movie a lot of things and i mean like so many things happened in the beginning the whole thing with the uh, shooting incident where the guy was shot you know the guy who he had taken deaths from and uh, that happened and then like you know them actually going and trying to find out kyoko's uh like you know mom and dad uh oh and, and uh what was the name miyuki wasn't it miyuki yeah miyuki getting kidnapped miyuki actually like you know like everyone like each and all the three characters they had their own journey in this movie and i think the each and every journey related to the characters kind of taught them a lesson which they were you know like kind of struggling with for example um gin gin uh, like you know after like gin went through his own journey he actually realized what 
family is you know like what he did was wrong uh, and the, the ga whole gambling thing the, that he did and left his uh, uh, you know wife and child away and uh, all that thing and kind of lied to everyone all all those uh, like you know got into a loan like a debt and then like becoming a homeless and she actually like you know he actually realizes everything after interacting with the with Kyoko and uh, you know like after actually going like you know experiencing the journey and actually realizing like like he's faced a situation where a similar thing was happening which he actually did you know like that's why he was able to relate to him so much he was actually like seeing as a third person whatever what was happening to Kyoko you know the, the whole thing with Sachiko and that guy that actually happened he actually like you know was looking at the situation as a third person and seeing what was happening and realizing that oh like i was also someone who did something like that in my life and actually understanding the fault that he did and like you know seeing someone doing the fault like it's, it's you know like if you like you know like stuff that you do um like you know bad stuff that you do you obviously don't realize it most of the time but when you see someone else doing the same thing and failing you know you actually realize that yeah what i did was very wrong and like people are usually kind of like you know dense like you know uh, about matters uh, pertaining to themselves like that's you know like but if you see the whole story from a third person perspective you kind of get to understand what's happening and what you did wrong that's basically the story again actually like you know, went on his own journey as to realizing that what i did was wrong and actually like you know like making amends for it um that was with gin hana hana um hana um, what can i say hana i can kind of say that she i think she was the person who um i think she was the person who ha had almost no fault you know because like I think she did basically nothing. She just lost his hus uh, uh, her husband, and um, like you know, like and became sad. Obviously, she cannot conceive, and that's why I wanted a child. And all, all the, yeah, I think Hana is probably the only one who did. I think who had no fault in a way, you know, not not much fault. She she was just a lonely person. That was basically it and as we like you know like and she also gets to learn a lesson when she goes back like you know she actually experienced uh having a child and she kind of like uh, says this in the end that i was actually stroking my own ego you know i like uh the thing that she did like yeah okay i think that is one mistake that she did like you know when she said that okay we will not you know not uh uh return this child you know like we will not let it go to the uh, like police will not go to the police station we'll take care of it on our own i think that was a mistake that she did and in the end she actually realized how family is important and how like you know what she did was something that she probably should not have done just because of his of her own uh like selfish not selfishness but her own desires of having a child and she actually realized that what we let the child go through is something that she we should not have probably done we should have just went to the police station and handed it over to the police uh handed the child over to the police that would have been the best but she kind of understood that in the end after obviously after going back to uh the the, the place uh, where she used to work uh you know her uh home actual home and going back to mother and okay one thing i'm i'm, I'm going to be like you know um uh, i'm not sure if i'm correct or not i think that that was not obviously her actual mom that was the mom of the establishment i think you know like usually in these kind of situations these kind of host clubs like you know the, the the person who is in the who's the head there usually a lady you know she she's kind of like she is it's called like you know she's called the mom of that place the mother of that place uh, i think okami or something like that you know like the okami of that place uh something like that and i think that was basically it like obviously I, I doubt she was i don't think she was the actual mother because the way they were interacting and she herself said that i was also abandoned uh you know so i, I don't think that was the actual mom obviously like that was someone that she knew and she respected as a mother and obviously she was also the uh mother of the establishment you know so anyways okay so as i was saying so yeah um uh, hana got to like learn that lesson you know like she got to actually un she understood in the end that whatever i did like keeping the child to myself you know that was something that i should not have done because 
it was bad for the child like you know like i was only thinking of myself but i should have thought about the child the child's happiness so yeah that was the thing that you know that was hana's own journey and miyuki yeah miyuki miyuki's journey miyuki actually you know um goes on another like her own journey where she gets to actually realize that like you know like like however like you know like that that situation when they were actually talking in the convenience store you know uh, about like you know the mom and dad and all those things and she actually realizes that what she did like obviously she stabbed her dad and you know like and she thought that like all those like you know misunderstandings and all and she felt guilty and she thought that no one loves me no one cares about me all that stuff but then like she goes on her own journey and actually realizes how hard it is outside and how much like you know a parent a mom or a dad like actually thinks about their child and she she never even thought about it she never actually realized unless and until she got to become that person like she she, she was kind of an elder sister to the to kyoko you know and she actually got to understand and like you know like actually uh, interacting with all these people and actually seeing the situation unfold she realized that yeah my mom and dad are probably also uh, like you know facing a situation like this just like yoko was like you know like not like you know like was missing similarly she was also missing in, in her parents eyes you know the thing that happened to kyoko she, I'm, i'm sure she realized that you know the thing that happened to kyoko the same thing happened to her in a way only the difference here is kyoko was taken away and she like went away by herself by her own will like you know she she ran away from home but the situation was the same like you know the parents don't know where the child is they're kind of freaking out and all how they're getting concerned and everything so like you know the whole situation i'm sure that made her realize like what's actually happening and you know like i should not have probably done this so like you know she tries to talk to her dad but kind of like backs down in in the end like cannot talk to her dad obviously but in the end obviously uh, the dad kind of finds her <laughs> in a very like you know good like you know coincidence they the dad was actually the police officer who was um like uh, involved with the whole case of kyoko's missing and uh, yeah that was the lesson that uh, muki uh, muki learns you know that how a parent like, you know feels when like you know like she realized that what she had done was definitely wrong and how her parents are actually feeling it's not that like you know like no one loves me no one cares about me it's not like that uh, something different is happening actually so that was muki's journey and every each and every character here learned something throughout the child uh, like through the child and now in a way like the thing that uh, i think it was hana who said that didn't she? yeah like the child is blessed by god correct because you know like they were basically like, these three homeless people living outside you know they had no where to go nothing to do they were in a heaps of trouble themselves they had their own complications themselves but as soon as they gets involved with yoko like a whole new thing starts where they go on their own journey actually realizing their own faults and making amends for it so in a way and they also gets a lot of opportunities you know like for example in the end we see how kyoko gets to meet with um the dad that's another coincidence how the whole like you know when like hana was falling uh with the child uh the, the whole thing happened the the, the you know the, the thing blew and uh, a gust of wind came and the <clears throat> kind of fell down slowly slowly all those things and that and a lot of other things as well like like stroke stroke of all, all stroke of lucks and and the whole the ambulance that kind of crashed into the place before like you know they went out of that uh like convenience store like another thing like another stroke of luck all these things like nothing would have happened if they never got involved with the child so in a way they're correct the child is probably favored by the gods and the child kind of brought luck to them in a way and they became like you know they actually went to, like under got to realize what they did wrong and what they should have done and how they can make amends for it and yeah so yeah that was it it's a really nice show and as i said like it, it was a little bit of um what can i say uh had 
had small little like you know uh, weird parts <laughs> as i said you know like few little parts kind of like uh, the way they kind of tackled everything in a very comedic manner on all these stuff it's quite unique i've never seen i think any anime or any show do it in this manner like <laughs> you know like like the whole vibe of the show was really happy but it was actually covering a lot of serious topics and a lot of things so yeah but in the end everyone's happy and we don't know what's going to happen obviously like it abruptly ends when uh, like, you know the, the dad comes in uh, Miyuki's dad comes in and they say that you know like we want to make them the godfathers and uh, yeah like so now we know what's going to be the child's name it will be <laughs> obviously it will be Kyoko so yeah and so that's why the, also the name of the show is Tokyo Godfathers now I hope like obviously I'm, I'm sure like you know after this they'll kind of you know try to make amends for their own mistakes do stuff uh obviously uh what was her name i always forget her name miyuki oh god i i don't know why i'm always forgetting her name miyuki i'm sure miyuki will also like go back now you know like kind of apologize and all. oh another thing I, one thing i don't think we kind of got confirmation is why what the dad with the did with the cat you know, like she was kind of blaming her dad saying that oh you took my cat something like that and stabbed it obviously i think like stabbing the dad was something that she took too far but i'm also curious as to what happened to the cat like you know what did the dad do with the cat actually for her to kind of like you know get so angry uh, i don't know maybe like you know he kind of gave the cat away to someone or something and most probably something like that that's why she kind of went mad and uh and stab the dad like i think that was a little bit too far you know like stabbing someone like that so but still you know like i'm sure she'll like repent for it and she will make amends for it all that all those stuff so yeah um mm, so yeah, as i was saying so yeah uh, like most probably miyuki will go back i'm not sure what's going to happen with um jean and hana because uh, it seemed as if, uh, like, you know, Hana loved Gin, and I'm not sure how this will go after that, but I'm sure one thing will happen, which is, like, uh, the daughter of Gin, obviously she's going to contact Gin in the future, you know, after they get married or something, and they'll, I'm, I'm sure, like, you know, they'll, like, patch up their relationship, like, that will happen, I'm not sure how what will happen to Hana, maybe she'll stay with Gin, or maybe she'll go back to the establishment, the, you know, the, the host club, or the hostess club, and, like, all those stuff and uh yeah who knows uh but i'm sure everything will go fine so yeah so that was it that was my reaction to tokyo godfather that was an amazing show and uh yeah like i like liked it i really liked it it was um quite unique as i said and it had a really unusual charm you know the comedy and all is quite unique and <laughs> I uh, will really you know I I I'll really remember this show for quite a long time. So yeah, that's it guys. That was my reaction to Tokyo Godfathers. Okay, today I was supposed to react to another anime, but I reacted to uh, anime movie, but I reacted to this. So like next week I'm going to like you know like the the show that I, the, the movie that I was supposed to react to today, which was um okay, what was the name? Um uh, I think it was Yoruba Mijikashi Aruko Yo Otome. Yeah, a nice shot walk on God. I was supposed to react to this movie today, but I did not. I'm, I kind of shifted it to the next week because, you know, like uh, some stuff. I had some problems with some stuff. So, like, uh, yeah, so I'm going to react to this show. Uh, night is short walk on gold which i was supposed to do today in the next week so that's for sure so next week uh, i'm going to do this uh, night is short walk on girl so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to Tokyo godfather so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed i usually do these kind of anime movie reactions you know every week uh one anime movie so yeah and comment down below anything you want to say your opinion on this movie or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so, so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another anime movie reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day